What is going on guys? It is Tony from Momo Paintball. I'm here with Dom from Phoenix Rising and of course Jake the Snake. Uh -oh. He's gonna talk about the snake side. Dom's gonna give you a couple quick pointers about the Dorito side. So let's get on. This is the NXL Florida layout coming up here very soon. All right, so once again, guys, this is Dom from Phoenix Rising. He's been killing it on the Dorito side today. Give us a couple quick pointers about what's going on up the field. Good. Yeah, so, so what we're talking about on the D side here, I think right off the break, there's actually some really great laning, especially if we look right from off the break. We've got D1, a great shot, trying to catch someone going a little bit further out or catching someone off that, that overslide. That's kind of what we worked on on the first kind of breakouts. But coming down the field, it's more so that, that movement, you're running and gunning. From what we found out is, if you stop here, you're kind of on a, a dead island. So what I've been doing is, is just running and gunning, going straight to D1, and we come here, and you get set up perfectly. This is a, this is a great spot to start checking on. We check on home, we can put him in, and then honestly, there's not a whole lot of heat because if we look down on your, your tape side here, it's not a whole lot of shooting going on. So really, if you're not getting heat, your bump is, is straight to D3. And once we get into D3, that's where everything changes. And I think everybody can concur with me that once D3 is here, it's tough because he's got that shot on the inside straight to snake corner. If you can see that, he's never expecting it. And once you hold that down, it's straight into you're coming on the outside of the back of the tape looking here and you've got a clear shot if especially if no heat's coming you're coming here and you're home 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 and then it's straight bump 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 you get to the 50 if you make it there clean it's honestly it's a quick snap and i'll show you actually it's a really great shot i did it a few times if you make it here this isn't being expected it's a quick snap done up here snap home if that hasn't if it's still alive or Guess what, California, as we call it, the can. It's, it's honestly the fastest D side that I love in this side right now because we were killing it all day with that. So. so have you seen anything up in the center that would be able to stop this real quick progression? Right, so if, this, if anybody goes straight center, goes straight 50 off the break, this progression right here isn't happening because he's waiting for this to come, right? So if we're checking off on when you switch, that's what we started doing is when you get the D3, you're checking that inside. And it might be sacrilegious a little bit, but you have to because if you notice Andy at my angle right now, he's not expecting it. If you don't know I'm here, that's a snap done. He's gone, right? But if we've got some at the 50, that next move is not here, it's here. And then we're gonna be playing that wing to try to push Correct, out. Correct, because that guy at that 50 is gonna right. stop this move to yep. this, yeah. So let's, let's confuse him and let's, instead of bumping here, Let's let's go here. Cut back in. Yep, yep go to the yep. wing. Awesome. We can't give them all the secrets. Right. Jake, That's what do you right, got about yep. Snake? Snake side, Snake of Williams. Let's go. Are we gonna restart it? Or? No, no, we're keep gonna going. keep it rolling, dude. All right. So Snake side is gonna be played one or two ways. It's either gonna be played fast or it's gonna be played slow. There's no in between. So either I I was thankful enough to be able to play enough points um, to play every spot. So. This spot right here, if you're playing right off the break, if you're playing right here, you're not living right here. So if you're, this is literally, this is a bump spot. You're gonna get here, you're gonna shoot your mirror and you're either gonna go into the snake one or you're gonna go into the god. Most of the times you're gonna go into the god. But as Dom said, that Dorito side plays quick. If you're playing a quick Dorito side, you're playing a very slow snake side because it's gonna keep your snake very honest. The snake is a ladder snake. It's going to keep your snake guys very, very honest. So I kept on playing the corner over here. And if you're playing the corner, you have a couple shots. You're either you're shooting down the snake side, trying to slow down this guy that's in the snake, or you're shooting cross field exactly where Dom was trying to say. If they get into that Dorito three, that Dorito four, you cannot come off of that from this spot because you have a clear shot right there. But if you have a clear shot right there and someone's in the snake 50, I mean, you gotta kinda pick your, you gotta pick your poison. So you really gotta play this really tight. You either gotta sit in here and shoot your snake lane or you gotta sit in here and you gotta shoot your Dorito lane. So there's one or two spots that you're gonna pick. And if you're trying to slow down, me personally, 
I kept on trying to slow down the Dorito lane. I'm sitting right here and I'm slowing down that Dorito guy because I don't want him to get to the 50 because if he gets to the 50, if he gets to that 50 Dorito, what's going to end up happening is he's going to shoot your whole team out. It's, there's just, there's no, there's no, I mean, there's, there's no cover for your guys to do anything. But if you're sitting here trying to protect your snake guy and you're not watching the Dorito side, you're going to end up getting shot out on your pack, which happened to me a couple times. So you got to be really, really quick on the snake side. You got to figure out what you're going to want to do. That God, when you're over here playing this God, because I got to play both, I got to play the can and the God. When you're over here on the God, if you play right here on the edge, you can play kind of a little bit off of your bunker and keep that snake one honest because you can get a bounce shot off of that snake one into the snake two. So if you look where the snake one at, snake one is at, right here, if you can sit here, you can live all day. But no one's trying to stay in snake one all day. So if you're a snake player, snake one, you've got no shots. So if you're sitting here shooting snake one, you've literally got nothing other than the 50. So you can pick up on the 50 if he's doing something reckless. But you're not really going to do much here. So when you're in the snake two up here, like I said, if you're that god player, if you're that Dorito player, you're shooting that bunker and you're bouncing it right in here to the pack. But you can shoot that D1. You can maybe, or you can shoot the D1. You can shoot the D2 depending upon where you sit. If you're playing off your bunker a little bit, but again, you have to remember it's a ladder snake. So if you have someone in that corner, it depends upon which way they're playing. If they're playing honest, if, if they're trying to keep you honest, they're shooting down your tape. If you got another snake guy, they're shooting down your tape. So you're either having one or two guys shoot at you depending upon which way you're playing. So personally, I think the snake played a little bit slower than the Dorito side. Everything goes by what that Dorito side is gonna be. If, that Dorito, if you're playing a fast team, you're either, you're playing back on the snake side or you're playing really up close on the snake side. It's up to you. It's really, it depends upon how fast they're going. So Jake, Dorito right. side. Let's hear it, let's hear this. So Dorito, Dorito side. side is pretty much if where it's play, at. It, yeah, if you're playing you Dorito agree? side. I say, I say D3 is gonna hold down that everything, field. Everything that he did on the Dorito side depended upon what I was gonna do on the snake side. If you shoot that D3, that D4, you're able to move up if you play a good ladder snake. A ladder snake, you got your corners, they're shooting at you. If you're, if you're facing another good snake player, maybe you can put them in and move up one snake player or move up one snake beam. But you gotta be careful of these bounce shots because when you're playing on a ladder spot, if I'm sitting here playing right here, if someone's shooting this, this bunker right here, I'm getting shot in my pack all day long. So to be honest, this snake side is gonna play a lot slower than that Dorito side. This whole layout depends upon what that Dorito side is gonna end up playing. The 50, you're gonna get shot all day if you go to the 50. I shot the 50 player all day long. You're not gonna go up there that much. You maybe will go to the command center and live, but if you get up into those W, those little mini bricks, those mini Ws, you're gonna get shot. I mean, it, it, it's, it's pretty much what it's at. You're not playing the 50, you're either playing that D side really hard, or you're playing the snake side and you're moving methodically and trying not to get bounce shot. Personally, what I would say, if there's no one in that back corner, what I did when I got into the snake, if no one's in that back corner, I'm sliding down the snake and I'm shooting my tape hoping that I don't get shot. Because once you get to this 50 snake, you can slow down that Dorito side really well. But again, we're pretty much almost at the 50 snake. And again, if I'm sitting right here, I'm getting shot in the pack. I'm getting shot right here in my back all day. If I get right here and I'm literally at the 50, 50 side, I can maybe live right here, but if there's someone in those in those back home bunkers, I'm getting shot from right here. All these bounce shots are coming right in. So that's the ladders, that's the problem with the ladder snake is that they're gonna keep you very, very honest. So I played based on how that 50 is gonna, uh, how, this, uh, how this whole 50 thing is gonna play with the Dorito side. If they're playing it quick, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna roll my gun in the corner and I'm gonna roll my gun in the God and the can. And I'm gonna try to shoot them out. That's pretty much what you can do. If you get into the snake too fast, you get down the 50 too fast, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna get shot and you're not even gonna know where you got shot from. That's pretty much what happened to me. So, but I suck at paintball, so I don't really know. That's true, that is Jake from Team Insanity. I do suck at paintball. And up the center, like I said, I mean, obviously. Up the center, you're gonna get shot all day. Don't Dorito go up the Dorito guy's center. coming in, like this dude over here. He kept you're, me honest all day. He kept me, up. I was in the corner. He was shooting at me every single time and 
he kept me very, very honest. He kept me to the spot to where if you're in that back corner and if he's at that Dorito that he was saying, he was there within 30 seconds. If he's there, you're, 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 you're not trouble. moving. You're not moving, you're in trouble. Just yeah, a quick little, quick little breakdown. You got Dom on the D side, you got Jake the snake talking it all about on the snake side. Love the so, snake side. Thanks for watching guys. You already know, it's little paintball.com. Phoenix Rising, check these guys out. We're at AZ Battle Zone, so let's go. Thanks for watching. And the key word today is keep it honest. Yep. Keep it honest. <laughs>